You feel like you deserve to be loved Your ex is did you wrong That's why you stayed alone That's why. Your lonely days are gone I came out here to save you It's the night of your life Girl, put on your prettiest dress Hi guys, welcome back to my channel I'm so, 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 so excited for this particular video I haven't sat down and made a makeup tutorial In what seems like forever and a day Like, I'm so excited for this tutorial So, you guys, sorry if you guys hear echo in my room I do not have any furniture in here All of my furniture is in another state And, <laughs> yeah So, I am about to move And I don't have any more furniture in my house So, yeah, that's how just how determined I was to make this video, okay? My inspiration behind this video was I have a friend who just went through a breakup and she's just like, well, I don't know what to do. Like, and I'm like, girl, you better put you on some makeup. You better get fly, get put, do your hair up and make him jealous. Like, that's all you have to do. Post a couple pictures looking good or with your new boo and make him jealous. So that's why I just the inspiration behind this video when I say make your ex jealous, how to make your ex jealous, that's what I mean. It's just to get up and look fly because that's like the best thing that you can do ever. It's always just be looking good at all times and so you know what he missing. In this tutorial though, I did use a couple new products that I'm so, so, so in love with and that will be adding to my new faves and I will add it into my regular routine. Also, you guys already know how much I love my Nadula hair. I did show you guys this is a hair and makeup tutorial. So I decided to also add that into this video too. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. This intro is gonna be like hella long, I already know. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys after the tutorial. Okay, hi guys, to start off, I'm gonna start off with my Becca primer, and this is the Ever Matte Primer. I like to just do like this to warm up the product a bit and then spread it onto my face. And then once it starts to dry, I like to just pat it. So you don't wanna really smear it on your face once it gets dry because it'll start to form like little balls on your face, and that's not good. <laughs> So I'm going to be using some of the LA Girl Orange Corrector on my face because I've been literally breaking out like crazy and every time I break out, it turns like really dark so I got really bad hyperpigmentation right now. So I'm just gonna put that on all the spots where I have it the most. And it's mostly like around my mouth area, my nose area, and then certain spots on my face. I'm gonna be using coconut and mocha together. I'm gonna mix these two. So the first color I'm going to for my eyes is this color, Oktoberfest by Coastal Sense. It's like the perfect warm brown color for women of color so if you haven't tried this color for maybe a transition color because i know it's really hard to find transition colors for uh women with darker skin tone so the next color that i'm gonna go into just to deepen my crease a little bit more because i feel like it needs a little bit more definition so i'm gonna use this color right here right here and it's also from coastal sense and this is the color chocolates here. I'm really going to be using this lower into the crease just blending it up and I'm using this angled type of brush. Um, I'm not sure where I got this from but it's like an angled type of brush so I'm using the angle part to get deep into my socket and this part to kind of blend the color out. 
Now, to deepen up that crease just a tiny bit more, because we're going for a really sultry type of eye, I'm going to just now blend Embark by MAC. And it's a really, really chocolate brown color, like a really, really chocolate brown. So I'm going to add this into the depth of my crease, and this is going to be really, really low. I'm not bringing this up as high as I brought the first two colors. So, yeah. So now just to give this eye just a little bit more depth to make it extra, extra sultry and dark, I guess you would say dark, <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of black. Now the blackest color that I have that's like the deepest and most pigmented black that I have is this black in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So I'm going to take this color right here and this is the color Licorice. I've used this color tons and tons before. I've used this palette so much that it's like hit and pan on a couple eyeshadows but woo, look how dark that black is that's why I love this palette so much because it has the blackest black that I know of okay now I'm gonna hop on into my morphe 350 and you know this palette is perfect for its warm brown color so I'm going to take this brown right here so yeah this is the color that I'm using Right here, I'm gonna take this on a flat uh, Elf Fount eyeshadow brush, <laughs> and I'm just gonna pack that onto my lid. And it's super pigmented. These are from Kana Cosmetics, I believe that's how you say it. But they're so similar to the Coco Goddess lashes, so I had to pick them up, and this is what they look like. So maybe you guys, um, if they have them on the website, I will let you guys know. I got these from my personal beauty supply store, but they are super identical to the Coco Lashes. Coco Lashes, I believe, are $5.99. These are $3.99. So if you have them in your local beauty supply, make sure you pick them up. Or maybe you haven't seen them and maybe they are there. Go look for them. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to just pop these on my eyes. Okay, so now it's time to set that contour again. So I'm going to use my Nika K Contour Duo for that. Got to set the contour because it was cream. And I'm going to just do this really lightly because since it's already product down, you don't want to go in heavy or you can start looking a bit crazy. To set the highlighted parts of my face, I'm just going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder. For highlighter, I'm going with this one from Flamore Cosmetics. I'm also going to take a little bit of this on a little brush. And I'm going to apply it right at the top of my brow bone. To give it an even more of a lift. For, my, for going back into my eyes, I'm going to go in with this Ruby Kisses Black Gel Pencil. And I'm just going to put that into my waterline. I'm just going to go back into that color Embark and place it on my lower lash line. So for lips, I'm just going to go in with a brown lip liner and this one is Coco by Nika K. top of that I'm just going to go on with a clear gloss nothing special at all just a clear gloss so, so, so. so did you guys enjoy that tutorial hopefully you did I really 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 love the way this makeup turned out it was Total. It's probably my favorite look I've done. It's so sexy and sultry and just, this is really good makeup for a night out or something like that or to make you ex jealous. Anyway, also make sure you check out my boobs over at Nadula. 
and check out their beautiful hair I will leave that link in the description also and also all the products that I use in this tutorial will be in the description as always so yeah um you guys comment below what you guys would like to see next and yeah until then I'll catch you guys in my next tutorial Out of your life, girl, you gon' forget your stress. Oh, How good it treated you that way? You the kind of girl a nigga trimming bell, yeah. You ain't even got flows, I could look at you all day. Oh,